Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Frank's Collecting Castle. My name is Daniel. And yeah, today we're going to go through my DVD collection. And it's going to be part one because this is just half of it. Just got more behind. So I'm going to do this in I don't know how many parts because I don't want to spend, you know, an hour uh, going through the movies because there's quite a lot so some of these movies I'm gonna kind of run through quicker and some of them I'm gonna stop through and talk a little bit about and um, if you want to comment what you think about these movies what you think about this collection uh, comment down below and let me think well let me let me think let me hear what you think uh, about these movies about this collection uh, movies that you want to want me to talk more about or movies that you didn't know about and uh, yeah I guess without further ado let's just uh, let's just start and we got the first couple of ones here so first up is the remake or the continuation honestly of the town that dreaded sundown great movie then we have Lucio Fulci's masterpiece the House by the Cemetery, the third in the Gates of Hell trilogy. The classic itself, Halloween, one of my all-time favorite movies. We got Halloween 2. Move on to the next lot. And of course, we have Halloween 3. Halloween 4, The Curse of Michael Myers. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Halloween H2O and Halloween Resurrection. Moving on, we have some Dario Argento from the Argento collection here. We have the Stendhal Syndrome, the Wax Mask, Cat of Nine Tales, and then I got two, ver two editions of his An Eye for Horror documentary. I'm a big fan, fan of Mr. Argento. Moving on, we got the original Paranormal Activity, which I think is a great movie. We got Miss 45 or MS 45 by Abel Ferrara. Stephen King's Creep Show 2. A found footage called Home Movie. Psycho Gorman. Here we got another. Uh, no, another. It's Friday the 13th, part 5 for some reason. Just very random. It's heavy. Heavier stock. Or the head. Oh my god, it's broken. I had no clue. This is heavier. Just this heavy. Uh, heavier case. I was about to say. Moving on to the next lot. The original Draca, Dracula. Bella Lugosi. Alien 3. Ring 2, 51, this was a really shitty movie, not good at all, this aired on, uh, yeah, After Dark Originals, so a sci-fi channel movie, not good. Deep Fear, and Wired Shut, I'm gonna move on here. For some new French extremity, switchblade romance, or high tension, hot tension. Freaking great movie. Awesome movie. We have Frontiers. Wolf Creek, I got... I thought I had another edition of Wolf Creek. I do, it's somewhere else. Uh, the Russian movie, actually. Yeah, Russian. Sputnik. Another found footage, this is Alien Origin. And the movie that I get, know gets a lot of praise, that's The Borderlands. I'm not, I think it's a fine movie. Um, yeah, the praise it gets, I don't know that it deserves that high of a praise. Now to the next slot. You know, in the wake of Paranormal Activity, you got a, just tons of movies like it. And uh, Paranormal Entity was one of them. But this is a good one. I really enjoyed this one. It was, this is a movie that is kind of difficult to come by, honestly. 
uh, paranormal entity. I, I truly recommend this. This is good work. Some more New French Extremity, The Ordeal. This was a weird, violent movie. A true Spanish masterpiece and hidden gem. This is Sleep Tight. A, a great home invasion movie. Absolutely fantastic movie. I highly, highly recommend this one. This is this is a really, really good one. If you haven't seen it, uh, search it out and, and watch it. It's a great one. You got James Spader and Keanu Reeves in The Watcher. And I haven't seen this one in a long time. That's a good one. We got Robert Edgar's The Lighthouse. Robert Pattinson and William Defoe. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Robert Eggers. I love his movies. I do want to pick this up on uh, the Arrow Blu-ray. I'm gonna eventually. This is such an amazing movie. I, as I said, I love Robert Eggers. Eggers with his The Witch and uh, The Northman. I think those are brilliant movies. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of uh, folk horror, but Robert Edgar Eggers style of telling folk horror really makes me love folk horror his folk horror i'm not a huge fan of folk horror folk horror overall but robert eggers just he's such a masterful storyteller and director with everything he does which is you know lighting cinematography everything and i'm so much looking forward to his new uh, nosferatu movie that's coming out in the uh, December. Highly looking forward to that one. But this is The Lighthouse. And we got Saw 2. The nice slip cover to it. Yeah, what needs to be said about this? This is 7. A very cheap uh, edition, but this isn't a... Uh, I love the cover to this. It just works. You don't need to have uh, a flashy compared to this night of the living dead which is an amazing movie in itself but to me what should, what is more effective seven that is seven is such an amazing masterpiece absolute masterpiece um there was gonna be this amazing edition coming out of uh seven but it got canceled just kind of recently, which is sad. This is a this is an amazing movie. One of my all-time favorite movies. Okay, moving on. Here's a movie that I actually haven't seen yet. I picked it up for like two bucks. Something like that. It was incredibly cheap. That's Mohawk. The Void. Very Lovecraftian. You can kind of see there. Another very Lovecraftian movie is Resolution. Spanish horror goes Agnosia. Agnosia. I'm, I'm not gonna try to talk to about it in Spanish. One of my all-time favorite movies, Brotherhood of the Wolf. Great freaking movie. Great freaking movie. Love this one. Dear Molly, yeah, I picked this up for four bucks. That's Swedish uh, money. 40 kroners is about four dollars. Uh, or about uh, three, yeah, three English pounds. This is somewhat found footage. Then we have Zack Snyder's remake of Dawn of the Dead. I love this one. I truly love this movie. I think this is a great movie. Moving on, we have Eli Roth's Cabin Fever. It's the body horror, body horror. And here we go with the Amityville Horror. I think this is one with Ryan Reynolds. I think it's good. Are you scared? Eden Lake. I think Eden Lake is a great movie. Great, violent movie. Man. This is a good one. 
kind of folk horror-ish in a way. It's also slasher-ish, but I highly recommend Eagle Lake if you haven't seen it. Land of the Dead. And moving on to the next lot here. A great one. Bone Tomahawk. I truly love this movie. This is a great one. Came out of nowhere, really. But made a huge impact. I'm a, a big fan of this movie. I highly recommend you all watching if you haven't seen it. Here we got a classic 80s slasher with the Scream Queen herself, Jamie Lee Curtis, in Terror Train. Is it the greatest slasher of all time? No, but it's a lot of fun. Then we have the great Sam Elliott in The Man Who Killed Hitler and then The Bigfoot. Now I have a Blu-ray of this as well. This is a great movie. I love this movie. If you haven't seen it, pick it up. And then we come to this. Arlington Road. Jeff Bridges, Tim Robbins. Great, great freaking movie. This is a true hidden gem and one of my true favorites. I love this movie. It's such a great movie. And I highly recommend this. Great acting by Bridges and Robbins. It's just, it's a freaking great movie. And another Jeff Bridges movie. Keith R. Sutherland, Nancy Travis. Uh... What's her name? Sandra Bullock. The Vanishing. I do have the uh, French, Belgian, Dutch original The Vanishing. This is the American remake. Which is... Uh, I like it. I really enjoy this American remake. The, the original is very good as well. Moving on. I just gotta move... Shift a little bit. Here's all the lesser known... Uh, science fiction movie called Extracted. Kind of a small budget, but it has good effects and I, I really enjoy this one. I don't think a lot of people know about this movie, but um, yeah, I really like it. Let's see, Extracted. And we have another Jamie Lee Curtis slasher with Leslie Nielsen. Yeah, this is Prom Night. Spawned a lot of sequels, didn't it? It's like three or four of them. Stephen King's Sleepwalkers, directed by McGarris. I liked, I really love the premise of this movie. But the uh, special effects, the CGI, fortunately does not hold up. Then we got the new version of uh, Candyman, the remake. The, no, it's not a remake because this is a continuation of Candyman. But this is the the new one. It's pretty good. I've watched it a couple of times. And the first time I didn't like it, uh, but it kind of grew on me. It's the second time I, I uh, sort of appreciate it more. But yeah, Candyman, the, the new one. The Wind. I haven't seen it yet. Mr. Craven's Wishmaster. But Robert Englund, Tony Todd, Kane Hodder. That's horror royalty for you. Trick or Treat. We know that uh, Arrow's coming out with a uh, new great edition for this. This was a, a rental from the beginning. But this is a very, very nice movie. I just rewatched it not too long ago. Very cool. Triangle. Not a very good one. Yep, yeah, didn't make a lot of sense. Moving on to the next lot. I'm just gonna grab one here. Barbarian Sound Studio. Interesting movie. Um, so this is about, man, what's his name? Toby Jones, yeah. Let's see here, Toby Jones, who's a uh, sound, sound effect maker. So he goes to Italy to make a giallo film. It's a very interesting movie. 
definitely definitely not for everyone i don't think everybody will enjoy this one but it's a very very different movie and if, 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 if but if you're a fan of giallo i think you're gonna enjoy this one then we have paranormal activity 2 uh, alien resurrection wreck 2 the first one is brilliant this one is yeah pretty much just as good i would say gary oldman patty constantine in backwards a lesser known movie i don't think a lot of people actually know about this one it's a pretty good movie about this backward society in uh, in spain here's a brilliant movie visually this movie was Stunning to me when it came out. I still look at this movie and it's The visuals here in this movie is stunning. I think it's Underrated movie it's to sell It actually has a lot of extras for being uh, you know for being a DVD Man, I'd love to have this on Blu-ray. It's probably, you know, it probably is out there on Blu-ray. I just haven't uh, looked for it on Blu-ray. But The Cell, I I love this movie. I've seen it so many times. So I'm big, big fan of this. And we have a Japanese one called uh, Memento Mori. It's one of my latest uh, Japanese Asian pickups, and I haven't watched it yet. Moving on for some new French extremity, and this is a... I had to turn it off. I couldn't watch it. That's base moi. This is a violent one. Friend, New French Extremity movies have a tendency to push the limits, and that one sure did. The People Under the Stairs. The Wes Craven's People Under the Stairs. This is the Swedish uh, pronunciation. Or not the pronunciation. The so this In Swedish, this is called The House of Evil. It's not the people under the stairs, but fun movie. Twilight Zone, the movie. Yeah, I know this movie is controversial because of uh, the deaths that occurred, obviously. That's which were absolutely horrible. That's why this movie is only available, you know, on... Uh, DVD. I don't think it was ever released on DVD on on uh, Blu-ray. This movie is coming up. It has it is thirty years old. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say, but I think it's it's uh, at its thirty year anniversary. But we will probably never see a a uh, like box set or Blu-ray release of this because. The, the lead actor in this movie. Yeah, what's his name? Unfortunately, I can't. I can't remember his name, but he, along with two uh, child actors, were killed in this movie. There's been documents. You can go on YouTube and you can Google and. Get the whole story but it's a tragic movie and, and it's not very good either now we got adrian brody and sam neill in backtrack which is a typical like thriller uh, having forgotten you know no memory type of movie but it's really in, it's an entertaining movie violation that one I actually haven't watched yet. And there's another edition of Wolf Creek. Moving on to the final stack here that I'm going to show today. I'm going to start with the remake of I Spit on Your Grave. Then we have Korean movie Revenge. A love story uh, amazing movie if you haven't seen this go ahead and watch it 
it's it's really violent it's really brutal but it tells this amazing story about this couple in love and when you watch the opening of this movie you can be like detested and, and horrified but it all explains itself towards the end of the movie and man this is a great one a true 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 hidden gem a revenge love story 2009 lost memories Three extremes, so three short movies in one. A Bittersweet Life, I know Second Sight, uh, earlier this year came out with a beautiful box set of this movie, I've been wanting to get that box set for this great movie. Satan's Slaves. Here we have The Great Hypnotist. One cut out of dead. So it's a zombie movie within a zombie movie. You know? Okay. Assembly. Chaser. Serial killer movie. Brilliant. Freaking great movie. Uh, I think uh, Umbrella Entertainment released a very nice box set of this, which I would love to have too. But I have this DVD. It's just a freaking great movie. Chaser. I truly recommend this one. Another one that I truly recommend is Harakiri, Death of a Samurai. So this is the Takashi Miike uh, remake of the original, which I have on uh, Eureka Blu-ray. Uh, but this is really good. It tells an amazing story. I highly recommend this one. I do rec obviously recommend... I highly recommend the original but this one is really good as well and and if you like Takeshi Miike you know what you're getting in for but yeah this is a this is a stunning movie I uh, highly recommend this one Takeshi Kitano and Satoichi obviously there's been I think 30 movies with the character of Satoichi the blind blind swordsman Crazy Samurai 400 verse, versus 1. So this is a movie made in one take. Yeah. Insanely crazy movie. Crying Freeman based on a, based on a manga. Okay, I'm not going to pronounce this incredibly long name, but this is a Japanese version of uh, Unforgiven, the uh, Clint Eastwood movie. This is with Ken Watanabe. Brilliant movie, though. But uh, yeah, that night name, I'm, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that one. Moving on to the final. Oops. Okay, I'm not going to take them all in one lot. Here we go. The front line. Another Korean War movie about the Korean War. I love these movies. Uh, back to 1942. This actually has uh, Tim Robbins, yes. But it had, yep, Adrian Brody as well. 71 Into the Fire. Another movie about the Korean War. So many great movies. Field of Fire. Raw, brutal, the Second World War. I'm talking about the Second World War and the brutal movie, City of Life and Death, when uh, Japan invaded uh, China. Freaking great movie. Amazing movie. It's like the cinematography and photography in this movie is. Uh, Quite outstanding. A shocking masterpiece, it says, and yeah, I definitely agree. Highly recommend this one. My War, My Way. Uh, 
freaking brilliant movie, another Korean war movie. Quake. Absolutely stunning movie. And then we got Jackie Chan in 1911 Revolutions. This is a, a uh, Oh man, it's off there. True disc edition of this movie. It's kind of slow. And the final one I'm going to show off is the Nightmare on Massacre. A Nightmare on Massacre. I can't speak. A Nightmare on Elm Street collection. It has all the movies and a bonus disc. And we have the original Dra Dracula. I am, I'm sorry. My brain doesn't work. The original Godzilla in the collection here. This is as Godzilla. Godzilla versus Biolante. Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. The Return of Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla versus Mothra. And Godzilla versus Destroya. So this is a kind of a cheap box set, but I do like that uh, the discs all have uh, different artwork. What t tends to happen when you get like cheap sets like this, I think I paid like 12 bucks for this. The, it's like just blank, uh, blank disc with no artwork. It's just, that's really cool about this, that it actually stands out. Compare that to, I think, this one, which is, everyone has the same artwork, you know? Kind of bland, right? But at least has some artwork, some, like, you know, don't. So next time, uh, we should go through this. We got more up here, and then we have all the Blu-rays and boutique labels. There's my Jason beer focus on that one that was, a, that was a good one very fruity beer very much fruit taste anyway um what do you think about this collection so far uh, any movies that you would like me to talk more about uh, any movies that you like how can you have this or yeah what do you think about this collection so far uh, obviously i'm going to go through part two and please comment down below and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, give me that thumb up if you want to. And uh, also, if you want to, give me a possible subscribe for uh, more content like this. And uh, I'll see you soon again, everybody. And until then, bye-bye.